but not everyone can afford the upfront cost of solar panels. So I did some digging to find out what other options are on the table for families or churches that might be on fixed incomes. Here's what I found out. A historic church isn't tough to find in Norfolk. Take a quick drive down Johnson Avenue and you'll spot Wesley Union AME Zion Church. But it isn't the centuries old exterior that stands out. It's what's next to it that Pastor Brandon Prelu says has people asking questions. They will come by and stand on the fence and watch and Pastor, what's going on? They, they were excited to see it. What they see is a head turning display of solar ground mounts. Let's face it, for many people in this community, they don't know what solar is. They've never seen any solar panels, have no idea how solar even works. So it begins to introduce them to concepts and things that can be beneficial to them. The church is located in Huntersville, which is within a federally designated qualified opportunity zone. According to the IRS, these zones are economically distressed communities where new investments can be eligible for preferential tax treatments. And because of that, it's the perfect fit for the work that Norfolk Solar does. So we are uh, a fund that puts solar on buildings in disadvantaged neighborhoods, low income neighborhoods in Hampton Roads. And we do that using investor money where the neighborhood gets the solar and their utility bill goes down and the investor gets their money back. Owners Ruth and Alden connected with Pastor Prelu more than a year ago. Has there ever been anyone that that's proposed adding solar panels up until Ruth and Alden and Norfolk Solar approached y'all? Never, never. And my first reaction was this can't be true. It's, this has to be fake. Pretty much 100% of the time people are, think we're a scam to start with. But you can see through these photos, their track record proves otherwise. They access qualified neighborhoods, build trust, and find a way to make solar power work, even if the roofs are in poor condition, like was the case at Wesley Union AME Zion. Not only are is it free to them, as in there's no cash out of pocket, but we are offering them a discount right out of the gate. We've been solar powered for a year now, um, and we saved about 20, 25% in our energy cost savings from our previous budget. In about eight yeah. years, they say the church will be work. fully self-sustaining. A cost us. saver, yes, but Pastor Prelu says the example set is priceless. In the context of the Huntersville area, it says that solar is not just something for the more affluent that uh, it can be equitable. So the children that ride their bikes up and down the street and are a part of this community are going to see that as a normal part of their future. And something else that I think is important to point out, Norfolk Solar has a contract with their installer that says that they're required to hire residents of the Opportunity Zones as permanent employees.